The London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine has sat proudly in the heart of Bloomsbury since 1929. Wrapping around the frieze of our building is the name of 23 scientists who were some of the great and the good of the time. They were also all men. We're proud to announce that on our 120th anniversary as an institute, we're taking steps to rectify that by adding the names of women pioneers in health to our heritage building, including Mary Skłodowska Curie. Mary Curie was a truly great scientist and she worked on a whole range of different things. Marie Curie was an inspiring example of what can be achieved with passion and perseverance. Ses valeurs sont universelles et notamment pour les jeunes et euh, pourquoi pas pour les jeunes et les jeunes filles qui voudraient euh, faire des études de sciences. Being a woman in the 1890s was not an easy task. She couldn't, for example, join the University of Warsaw just because women were forbidden. She established that radioactivity is a spontaneous phenomenon. She observed the effect of radiation on biological tissue, and that laid the foundation for radiology, so X-rays, diagnostic radiology, and for radiotherapy in curing cancers. As a biologist, Marie Curie impacted my field in terms of how we use radioactivity nowadays. Marie Curie's in a way completely determined my career because I've spent most of my life studying the effects of radiation. As sadly, Marie Curie was not aware of the harmful effects of small doses of radiation. And when she died, she died of aplastic anemia, which was almost certainly caused by radiation exposure. I think que en tant que scientifique, mais en tant que femme en général, c'est un modèle, enfin pour moi c'en est un. I would describe Marie Curie's discoveries as innovative, groundbreaking and revolutionary. Marie Curie has changed the world for everybody, forever.